All right, hello everyone. Uh, Flighttips.com brings you another instructional video. I'm Shane. My name's Thorne. Uh, and today we're going to go over the classic after school fight in a playground type area. When uh, when younger kids get in fights, it usually end, or it starts in the classroom, but ends up out here at the playground. You know, like tell you to bring it outside, wait after school, and then you always end up at the playground or out in the field where there's not much to do. Always the first thing you should do, obviously, is avoid the fight, talk your way out of it, even apologize, even if the other kid's wrong. Um, you know, you always want to avoid the fight, the conflict, but sometimes you can't. You just got to do what you got to do. All right, always first thing, you should check out the environment, see what you can use, uh, check out the people who are around. You can trust them, see who are your friends, who aren't your friends. Uh, try to always keep it like a one-on-one -on -one fight if you can. If not, get out of there, because you really get hurt in a street fight. It's a serious thing. In this episode, uh, it's going to be a step-by-step -step type of thing. Um, I'll be playing the bully. Shane here will be playing the good guy. It always starts out with shoving. He's going to be pushing you. He's going to be, you're going to be pushing back. So we start out, and it's up to you who throws the first punch. Like I said, if you can avoid the fight, avoid it. But if it's just a, a fight that you know nothing's going to happen after it, you're not going to get in trouble, then you might as well throw the first punch. Um, when he goes for the push, he's not blocking his face. So right away, you could either swap his hands down, hit him in the face, aim for the, don't even, don't even bother, just make sure you hit him in the face area. Um, or if he's leaning in dramatically, you can uppercut him. And it doesn't even have to be uh, like good style. You know, if you hit him, even if you get the first hit, he's just gonna, gonna break him down. He's gonna think he wasn't, he wasn't expecting it. So one really. thing to remember, also always keep your eyes on him because uh, right. at any time they could just turn around grab you just attack you and so if uh, there's a lot of people surrounding you chanting don't even pay attention someone will call your name you'll turn next thing you know you're on the ground because you got hit so hard so make sure and always keep your hands up keep them above your your eyebrows because when he hits you want to be able to block your eyebrows a lot of your eyebrows your cheeks your mouth and your nose all split open real easy you want to keep your eyes on him but you want to know your environment right here we have a fence it's typical right you look around for your environment see what you can use in the middle of a field like this, it's, you know, um, not much you can use. You can't pick up anything or you can't push them against anything. Just try to, if you want, if you feel more comfortable around it, get them towards something you can use. So in the middle of a fight, maybe we'll just, uh, it's when we're squaring up, just move around, um, get closer to the fence. And then while we're fighting or whatever, punches are thrown, just remember to keep your hands up. Don't listen to everyone else. If they're telling you, techniques to do just you know what you got to do people are throwing hits push them into it keep your head blocked and then you know in cage fighting ufc you're not allowed to grab the fence because there's nothing they can do out of it so if you're holding on to the vent you got a good grip even if he tries to push me off i can hold on to him and he can't he can lift me up but i'll still be holding on to the fence and in this situation even if he lifts me up off the ground because he's bigger than me he's throwing knees and don't matter how big i am or how big he is if i throw a good knee into his ribs it's going to break him you can always just push him into it when he comes back. Use it as, you know, like a bungee, bring him back into it. Uh, when I get bungeed off of this, this fence, he throws me up against it. If he were to miss, I can charge him at any time. Now, I'm, I'm bigger than him, so I could probably overpower him. So he's going to show you how to defend yourself if you're going up against a bigger guy. Yeah, most, at you. most kids, even in the beginning of the fight, they'll run in. Their heaviest punch will come in first while they're running in. And like, um, they're not gonna punch straight, it's gonna have a curve to it. So like, even if I move back a little bit, like if he were to throw a straight punch, like no matter how much I move back, it's still gonna hit me. But if he has like curve to it, and I just move back a little bit, it's gonna miss. So when he throws, when he runs in towards me, and if he's coming full speed, and like I back up, it's gonna hit me because he's gonna keep coming. So you want to move out of the way if he's coming towards me. But if he's staying here throwing those haymakers, like most kids do, then you can just, just keep stepping back. And he's just going to take a step and throw another one. And then notice how his face is open after every time he throws a punch. All right, so we'll go back to him charging me. He charges me. He, his momentum's coming towards me. You can either duck under it and grab him like this. You're choking him right now. You just squeeze. He's going he's gonna to pass out. You know, it's a, it's a fight after school. People are watching, so you don't want to hurt him too much. Don't, don't ever try to choke anyone out unless your life's in danger. Um, all right, so he's coming towards me. Or you could just use his, use his momentum. Grab him by the shirt, grab him around the hips. Um, 
lot of times I've done this, kids come running, I just grab them around the hips and use my legs. I'll fall too, but I'll bring them down with me. It'll be on the ground and just right away gain your balance. You want to get on top right away. If you're on the bottom, it's not a good situation. Um, if you're on the ground, bring him to the ground. If you don't want to get stomped or kicked. Um, I'll go back to the haymakers. Throw another haymaker. Take one step back, his face is open. Okay, it doesn't even have to be powerful. Hey, you hit him in the nose. His eyes are going to whir up. His vision's going to get blurry. In the middle of the fight, you can ask him if it's over. You, you want to stop the fight as quick as possible. Because then, you know, if you get out of hand, a lot of other people can start fighting. You just want to end the fight. This concludes the classic after-school fight scenario. This video is brought to you by FightTips.com. Remember to always try to avoid the fight, but if you can't, do whatever you can to avoid injury.